Hey, what is going on guys and welcome to another Iron Man episode. I am yet again in Runespan as I ended my last video trying to get my runecrafting a bit higher because I don't want it to be my lowest skill. I want archaeology to keep being that for Tears of Gothics. I've gained 376,000 experience and I'm still going to stay here and I'm also going to do some CMI runecrafting for some faster experience. But look at my outfit by the way. I made these three pieces from the... Uh, small pieces that you get from doing runecrafting in the inven invention bench and it is very bugged on my character and I'm not sure why it looks like this but uh, on my character here in game it looks completely fine so guess I'll just have to deal with this for now but uh, also before we start the video I want to say do have a discord link to that is always at the top of the description and also if you do like the video leave a like but do that at the end of the video if you did actually enjoy it can almost make two pieces but uh, let's see what the fourth piece I'm going to get is the helmet all right so now my character just uh, looks completely like a ghost and I think I in this one I can't carry runescence but I can teleport to the runecrafting guild and the chest I can fill because you can empty here and you can fill so I'm going to do some CMI and try to fill the outfit with some runescence and see what experience drops I get oh look at the chat you need to be wearing a full set I thought because of the body having the fill option and the others not I thought you only needed the body but uh, yeah you need the full set oh my god I feel like all my pets go like this I got the runecrafting pet and I saw so many grats messages but I saw it so late. I got the pet and probably like three minutes later I saw these messages like from RuneSphere, grats, like from where? And I was like, wait, did I actually get a pet? And I did. At 2.7 million experience, got the uh, Ru pet. And I actually want to look at this right away because I feel like a runecrafting pet is kind of cool actually. Yeah, oh my god, it looks so nice. Let's summon it. Oh, I can't summon it? I'll have to do it in a bit, but yeah, that is insane. <laughs> I think I've done enough rune span now. I'm 84 rune crafting and I got 400,000 experience, but what I want to do now is actually take a small break from rune crafting. I'm first off going to do all the daily challenges, maybe extend some of them, because I don't want to miss out on this mining daily, which is very nice, and smithing, because I'm working on that, of course, to 99. But after that, I actually want to go and kill some of the Rex Matriarchs. I did a video on this on my main account and I actually got the heart of the Berserker, that one. But I actually want to do this on my Iron Man for a bit and if I do get any of these it is really nice. Then I have to do a lot of Dagonoth Kings. Of course I can also get the spear pieces. I don't know how useful they are going to be but I definitely want to try this boss a bit on my Iron Man. I actually tried to get a dinosaur task and I got it pretty fast so I can actually use the Slayer Helmet on the uh, Rex Matriarchs now but I also completed all the daily challenges and I actually extended all of them except for the archaeology one so uh, 500,000 experience drop. I got quite a lot of levels actually, 96 smithing, 88 agility and 79 archaeology. I'm going to start off by killing only Rathis, it is the easiest one in my opinion and it is going to give me probably some decent strength experience as well which is very nice. This is the setup I'm going with because I am on a slayer task of 105 dinosaurs, I can use the slayer helmet, just going to use a yak for as much food as possible, overloads and restores. And this one can drop the Heart of the Berserker and Heart of the Archer. So that is the uh, item that I need to upgrade the Berserker ring and the Archer's ring. So pretty good ones. If I get the Archer's one, that is going to be huge for my range setup on necks and all that kind of stuff. So let's get into some kills. Done a couple of kills now and it is pretty slow with the gear I'm using. And I would say I'm probably not going to bring a pack egg for the next trip. I'm probably going to get out Blood Nihil because if I have more accuracy I heal more with Soul Split. And the kills are going... Really? I got a Strength Pet drop there as well. Hopefully something good on the uh, actual drop itself. Nothing too good but <laughs> that's like two pets in one video very early on. Nice. We have a look at both of those by the way in just a second. But uh, I'm probably going to bring a Blood Nihil instead of a Pack Yak. It's probably more efficient. Is that a Kangaroo? So here is the rune crafting pet. I think it looks very nice. Roo. And uh, let's now send this home and look at the strength pet that looks like a Kangaroo I think. So let's go to I guess it is... Is it companion pets or is it boss pets? It's maybe, probably none of them actually. Where is it? It should be Kangali. There we go. So it is uh, <laughs> a kangaroo with uh, with boxing gloves. I think it looks pretty nice, but I definitely do prefer this pet. I just did a kill with a Berserker Aura and a Blood Nihil, and the difference is pretty massive. I basically never miss. 
and before I missed pretty frequently. And now I could kill the boss right when he put the second Venoms on the ground. And before I had to go through the second Venom and the third Venom landed, but then I could kill it. So it is going to be quite a lot faster. Bit of an interesting drop. I didn't know they could actually drop these, but uh, I gotta say Renix Cave. Did I get more than one? Oh, just one. But yeah, that's actually pretty nice that you can get these from uh, the dinosaurs. This is going to be the last kill I'm doing with melee. After this, I'm going to get my Cyrenic and Ascensions, and I'm going to be killing the one to the far right, the mage one. For the last drop, I just get some dinosaur bones and some hides. And right now, I have a total KC of 28. So I did 28 kills on the green ranged one. So as I want to use a Ruby the Criminal Bolts on the boss, I do have to cut some more Bloodwood because I'm running out of the Bolts. I use most of them at next and I have only like 100 left. But uh, you have to go to the Wilderness, cut these Bloodwood trees and you can only cut them like once every 8 hours or something. And it's kind of random how many of these logs you get, but there's a few of them you can cut. And I have 770 Bolt tips in my bag. So you have to make them in the wilderness and then you can actually enchant them outside of it. So it should be fine. I should probably get quite a lot of these. I just got a drop of coins and it says 661,000 coins. That is such a huge drop, especially for Iron Man. If you don't use a shield on this boss, your trips are not going to be that long. With uh, out of shield, I did like four kills and then I was out of food. But if you do bring a, for example, Dragon Defender and you use it right now and you use Resonance on this ranged hit and you don't pray against it, you get healed for a lot. It hits very hard consistently. So if you're going to do a bit more of this boss in a single trip, then that is a good way to do it. So right when I got this rare drop, the heart of the seer, I had like a billion sounds in the background, so I actually have to do post commentary for this unfortunately. And I do end up actually uh, typing in the wrong thing here, but yeah, that is the Sears Ring attachment completed. To end the trip I also got a Draconic Energy. I'm not actually sure what this is, but I know that it's from the raid you can do. It seems 150k, so it's probably not worth that much. Oh, it's to make the Elite Gear, and how many do you need? Seven. Okay, so, oh, you need 140 here, so, oh, okay, this is just a repair patch, so one is probably not that, uh, that good of a drop. So now that I have the Sears Ring attachment, all I need is 10 Sears Rings. Yeah, that's a lot of Sears Rings, and I'm probably not going to go for that right now, so I'm just going to collect as many of the attachments as I can, put them in the bank, and then when I want to do a lot of Dagonoth Kings, I have the attachments to make the stronger rings when I do get 10 of them. But now, there is really no point of doing this boss, because they can all drop the spear parts, they can all drop the Heart of the Berserker for the Berserker Ring, but this one is for the Sears Ring, this one is for the Warrior's Ring, and the far to the left, which is the melee one, or the one I kill with melee, is the Archer's Ring attachment, and the, by far, this is the easiest one. So I'm just going to go melee again, get some nice strength experience, almost at 93, and uh, I'm going to basically AFK some more on this boss and see if I can get either the Berserker Ring attachment or the Archer's Ring one. Either would be really nice. By the way, if you're wondering what my KC currently is, it's 45. So I think this is going to be a good stopping point. By the way, look at the experience I've got. Almost 2.2 million strength experience, but uh, let's have a look at how many kills I have. And the last drop is going to be some nice Alkyballs. I got a total of 78 Rex Matriarch kills. And I think that is a good start for this video. It's time to start the longer grind of the video, which is going to be 99 mining. And I'm probably not going to go for 99 smithing in the same video, because then it will take like two weeks to get this video up. So I'm just going to go for 99 mining through Dark and Light and Emika. And uh, let's see how many we can get. So I've done 1 million experience on Light Animica and I have like 1200 or something like that. But I hit 97 mining a while ago and that means I can actually open a lot of effigies and get quite a decent amount of mining experience. 30k for the first one, another 30k for the second one. I think this third one is also mining and the first one here is wood cutting and something else so I can't actually open that. But, uh, okay, this one I can't open either, but um, three full lamps. How much experience is this actually going to give me? So, it already says here, 24,000. Let's compare it to, for example, Herblore, 43,000, 33,000. I'm not sure if I should put this in archaeology or what I should put it in. But, uh, I don't think I should put it in agility. That is kind of a easy skill to train. It's a bit slow, but it's not that bad. So, I'm probably just going to get... 
24,000 archaeology experience three times. Let's just go for it. I think that is the best move. If you guys agree, you can uh, say that in the comments. Or if you disagree, you can say that as well. But I still have these two. And one of them is Herblore and something else. What was the other skill? Herblore and Hunter. And this one is Woodcutting and... What was the second skill? Fletching. So when I get these two at 97, when I get 97 Herblore, which is not that far away, or to get Fletching and Woodcutting to 97, I can open more effigies. So I've got 1875 Dark Anemica and almost 1.9k Light Anemica. So I'm just going to deposit all of that. And now I am going to stop mining these and I'm going to mine Runite and Luminite because I have 500,000 experience left to 99 and I want to have a decent amount of these for when I need to make the Elder Rune Bars for the Smithing Grind to 99. Otherwise I'm just going to basically waste experience over 99 in mining, which I'm going to have to do anyways for the Masterwork, but uh, might as well do this part at least now so I can get the 99 Smithing off first. This is the nature of AFKing a lot when you do mining. Uh, I got 99 mining there we go on luminite and I actually just have a full inventory So I'm just going to cut to my bank and show you guys what I have I actually mined a bit too much runite I got 2,000 and I have almost 1,000 luminite I actually have more than that because I forgot to put that in so just about 1,000 luminite 2,000 runite ore. so I'm just going to take out all of this and I'm going to put it into the uh, the smithing metal bank, let's do that, and I just need like 1000 more luminite I guess, and I should be able to make enough elder rune bars for 99 smithing, or at least pretty close to it, I already have some rune bars as well, so I don't actually need um, 2000 luminite either, so I probably have to get like 500 or 600 more of those, but uh, I'm not going to do that right now, I feel like I'm pretty done with mining, got 99 in the video, that's all I really wanted. Accidentally already turned one of the dailies in for 64,000 smithing experience, but I have the hunter one actually extended because I really want to get to 88 when you can in the wilderness basically AFK with really high experience rates to 99, which is the way I'm going to get 99 hunter, but uh, 215,000 experience for that and I did hit 83 hunter on that, so we're getting a bit closer to being able to get this to 99. So I've been running out of overloads and that's why I haven't really done a lot of PVMing, but I did buy the Searing Overload recipe and I only need to boost to one Herblow level, which is very easy with a Green Man's Ale. I can just buy it at a bartender and I can turn a Overload 4 dose into a 6 dose with this because the Super Anti-Fire, I have so many of them in the bank, like 200 or 300 of them or something, and I don't really use them for anything except, of course, if I'm killing dragons. But if I can waste two of, uh, or one of these Super Anti-Fires to get two more Overload Doses for free, which is essentially what happens, I can just use this as a normal overload and not really care about the super anti-fire effect. So I got the Herblore boost and uh, this is what it looks like, turning 4 doses into 6 doses overloads, which is going to save me some potions, but I definitely need to uh, somehow get more overloads if I want to get some more PVMing done. Now that I have some new overloads, the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to finish up my Slayer assignment of 27 dinosaurs on the melee Rex. And I'm going to reach over 100 KC on this, so let's see how many KC I currently have. I have 78, so I will end up at, what is that, 105 KC total. And uh, that means I've done a full Slayer task on the boss. And hopefully I can get that Heart of the Archer or the Berserker, which the uh, green one can drop. And uh, yeah, let's see if I can get lucky. So the last clip was actually yesterday and before I logged out I only did a couple of kills but today I'm going to finish this off and I just want to say that just today it is a new event which is a new challenges are extended for free and this actually includes for Iron Man as well so all the daily challenges you will get during this week is going to be automatically extended which is huge obviously for Iron Man and another thing that is very very huge for Iron Man that I'm definitely going to take use of is that daily Wiswax is actually doubled so you can get up to 200 Wiswax every single day on an Iron Man. So after I'm done with this I'm actually going to go and get as close to 200 Wiswax that I can. Oh wow, uh, I have how many? Two KC left and I get Heart of the Archer which is exactly what I wanted to get. Now I only need Heart of the Berserker. I'm not so sure I actually need Heart of the Seer, the one I already got. But I guess Heart of the Warrior could be nice as well. I guess all of them are pretty good. So very nice to get Heart of the Archer done. 
Let's see now what we get for the last kill. Also, 22 Slayer points. Not too bad. I'm actually getting pretty close to 500 Slayer tasks, which are going to be a lot of points. But uh, some Adrenaline Crystals for the last drop. But let's head over and see how it looks like making the uh, Whiswax during this event now. It's also double stock in most stores, I think. So you can buy double the runes. So you can buy 2,000 runes every single day from just one shop. And uh, it's not very expensive, and this is very good for Whiswax. I think this is good enough. 87 Whiswax plus 87, so uh, 174 Whiswax, and I can do this for an entire week. So just from one week, I'll get like a thousand Whiswax, which is very nice, as well as I don't even have to spend the Whiswax on the challenges as they're just automatically... Uh, extended anyways. So I guess the next step for my account is going to be to actually smith all of this that I got in this video. I have to get some more luminite and make some more rune bars so I can have enough to make all the elder rune bars. But that is going to be a very long grind, so this is going to be the end of this video. Hope you guys did enjoy it. Remember, the link to my Discord is always at the top of the description, so if you want to join that, click on that link right now. It's a very nice community. And also, subscribe if you want to see my future content, or click any other videos on the screen right now. But anyways, until the next time, take care.